Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Line, Binding Vines of Gantrebirth Plus, what could be greater than Golf with a Gator? Did we, I thought we had four wins in a row last time. And then we're still at four wins in a row? We have no mods on. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. That's okay. Last run, didn't end up being that difficult. We got Tech X early and kind of balled out of control. This one, the worst rate of fire. WRGP L0TG with uh, an HP upgrade and uh, the D6. It's not bad. Honestly, with a bad rate of fire, Epiphora is like one of the more interesting uh, upgrades that we could get in the early game here. Um, we're not always going to be able to use it appropriately, as I'm sure you can tell from our uh, experience here. But Epiphora is kind of cool. I hated it for a while. And then I, I've come to actually appreciate it. So the big draw for us, I think, is uh, the big the, the thing that we should do to try to maximize our chances of winning here is not really to use Epiphora to always shoot in the same direction. When that happens, when that aligns with our abilities, that's going to be nice. But it's not always going to be possible to ensure that we're shooting in the same direction. But, you know, after 10 or 20 minutes, as you can see, we can get to the point where... Uh, well, we can actually see our HP as well, which is nice. Oh, dude, this is amazing. They said the Joker was a wanted man. Um, what do you do here? <laughs> well, uh, this is actually potentially how we win the game. It's popped off so quickly here that I'm, like, confused but also excited. Because Empty Vessel is incredible. We can use it. Um, you gotta take Empty Vessel. And then you reroll the other item to try to get Empty Vessel to pop. And Guppy's Hairball is at least good enough to try. So we can fly now. And I'm going <laughs> to... It's highly debatable whether or not this is even close to the right decision. But I figured I'd give it one chance. And it didn't work. Okay. So if we get back to the deal with the devil, awesome. Probably won't. But if we do, that's fine. Even if we don't, though... Um, the, uh, the pickup of Empty Vessel is extremely good. The principal problem that we have right now is, you know, it, it doesn't actually help us out on a stats level. Although we are thankful to still, like, be able to, you know, deal damage. Um, and fly. And also maybe have a, a faster chance to become Guppy. If not necessarily a better chance. Because we might not, even though we're guaranteed more or less a deal with the devil due to our current HP compensation. Or HP composition on the next floor. Um, it's... Mm, questionable whether or not we'd be able to actually take a deal with the devil it depends on um, well mostly whether or not the deal with the devil actually gives us some HP back and then maybe whether or not we get HP from our existing boss on this floor or the boss on the next floor but either way empty vessel is great um, and we're, we're happy to have it it just might take a little while to to come into focus how good it actually is it also gives us occasional invincibility but we're we got a lot of future potential, and Empty Vessel's like a little bit of right now help as well. Um, but the problem is more that 3.7 damage and 17 rate of fire are pretty poor. Uh, they're not awful. I mean, 3.7 damage is okay at least, but uh, 17 rate of fire is almost non-usable. That's like... Eve's Mascara levels of rate of fire, and our damage is not even close to where we'd want it to be. But every run, almost every run as Eden, starts with like some area that could use a little help. And it just so happens it's our DPS this time, but our defense should be good. I'm going to compromise uh, Empty Vessel temporarily to get a sweet, sweet Tears upgrade, which is basically essential as far as I'm concerned. And then we're going to execute like a, a guppy play here. So we go into our curse room. Got two spirit hearts, which is basically, like, fine. We know we're going to get a deal with the devil here. I wanted to get back to Empty Vessel as soon as possible. And, uh, please jump again. Our rate of fire can get down to six if we really harp on it. Um, it's not bad. What's our default rate of fire? It's, like, 14, I think. It's nine? I didn't even look when we picked up, uh... What a, what a terrible dodge there. But I didn't even look when I picked up, uh, Blue Cap for the first time. If our standard rate of fire is 9, that's, like, actually completely okay. I always find, like, when my 
tier delay or my rate of fire is really bad. Oh, sweet, yeah, cool. Um, Reroll this. You gotta, you gotta, even though it ruins Empty Vessel, you gotta. Um, I always find, like, if I'm on an Eden run where my tier delay is kind of garbage, one tier's upgrade usually, like, disproportionately saves it. And I have no idea why. Um, but it usually see. <laughs> it's weird, right? Because I'm, like, I feel deprived because I'm not able to grab the uh, Maggie's bow. But if we were able to grab Maggie's bow, that would mean we're using Empty Vessel, and picking up Maggie's bow would ruin Empty Vessel. So I don't know if we'd be trapped in the middle of that thing or what, but... Uh, thankfully, maybe we're not able to pick it up. Even if it did let us leave the room, we'd still be like, you know, we'd be ruining the ability to fly, so I don't feel too badly about that. Uh, this run is great now. Grind now, yeah, your magic moment. Grind now, come on. <laughs> is that Van Halen? I, it, that's like one of the mid-tier cuts. You don't hear it on the radio too, too, too much. But, uh... So we have prayer card, which I'm going to take. But we could get by with a reroll as well. Um, I'd like to get to 10 cents. It's going to happen. I don't love that I have to buy a reroll here, but it's fine. Ace of diamonds. Um... And we'll buy the reroll. Use the prayer card once. So that we get X. Well, I mean, I guess if we're on 1 HP, do we want to be on 2 HP? Why not? 2 HP is probably better for now. It, it sounds like bad, but if we really hate being on 2 HP, we could just die and go down to 1 HP and then take a deal with the devil. Like, for example, follow me to a place where incredible feats are achieved every hour or so here. Um... Next floor. Oh, I didn't mean to get 3 HP. That's getting a little crazy. Next floor. We walk into a deal with the devil. Ah, uh, you know, we can't quite get back to empty vessel state if we take this, so we want to have less HP. We walk out, bomb ourselves, respawn inside of the deal with the devil. Grab the item, die, come back as... Okay, now I'm getting confused. I'm confusing myself here. Um, disregard. I'm getting, I'm getting too cute with the plays here. Let's pretend as if we don't even have Empty Vessel and then just be happy when it works for us in the future, which it probably will. How's this run looking? Well, it's got an okay rate of fire. It's got okay damage. Holy Light is legitimately one of the best tier effects. And Little Brim, like, short of getting a huge damage upgrade... Well, I mean, that's not really the spectrum in which I want to compare these. Little Brim is, like, one of the best ways to deal damage that has nothing to do with your own damage stat. Like, as a static variable... Repeating, of course. Stored on the local static area. I don't remember where static variables are stored. Probably on the heap? Now that I, oh, sorry, probably on the stack is what I'm... Okay, look. Hey, nerd, if you're talking about the stack, you better be talking about Magic the Gathering, all right? No C++ in my eyes. The point is, um, regardless of your damage, Little Brim's amazing. So it's helping us out quite a lot right now and can carry us for quite a long time. I would love to have it not have to carry us for quite a long time. But truth be told, if we had to run these stats for the remainder of the run, I think we could do it. Might warrant, you know, a couple of speed upgrades, just so we're a little bit safer on the dodging front. But Holy Light combined with uh, Little Brimstone, can it allows us to hit above our weight class. That's what I'm trying to say. No deal with the devil, but Polydactyl, it's okay. High Priestess basically is a free boss fight later. Surprised we didn't fight Big Horn, considering we have such poor damage right now. That's usually uh, how the game sees fit to punish us. Is that a misuse of High Priestess? It's possible, but... You know, those mushrooms are as tanky as some bosses, I swear. Luckstat 1.31. Our shot speed is, like, god-awful. Which is compromising our effective range a little bit, I think. Which is an yet another reason why Little Brim was like such an amazing get for us. Wiggle Worm with low shot speed is almost usable. And Wiggle Worm in general is one of like the least horrible worm trinkets. Ringworm, as far as like, I would love for Ringworm to be more useful. Or at least like from a hilarity standpoint, useful at all, but it just isn't. 
Like, that, it makes it impossible to hit things. It also gives you, like, a 3,000% shot speed increase, which, uh, you think, how could that possibly be bad? Well, it found a way. Much like life in the Jurassic Park films, it found a way. Libra, you gotta give it a shot. I almost think this is gonna be a damage downgrade because our shot speed and speed are so bad. It was the mildest of damage increases. Um, but again, this means that every stat upgrade we ever get will be an all stats upgrade. And every stat downgrade we ever get will be a stats downgrade. So, except for luck and HP, weirdly enough. But... Let's peep this first, two of, no, it's an ace of clubs. You gotta think about this one because we have coupon. Coupon would make the Bible free. Or it could make one of the consumables free. It could also make deals with the devil free, but that's not what I want. I think we go for the double reroll here. And then we take a gift, and we'll use it in here to get a free shop item. It's compost. It's not bad, but it's also not what we want. What we do want is champion belt, which is an all stats up now. How much, though? It's not bad. 0 0.42 damage. It's like a 10% damage increase. Um, and then we're going to reroll Mom's Purse. Pills are one of the best ways to get all stats upgrades, but without knowing what they are, it's a little dicey. So we reroll it. It becomes Hive Mind. Like, I'm not against it. Our chances of becoming Guppy are pretty good. But our donation machine is also... Oh, we don't have any more... <laughs> Alright. Maybe if this is the last Isaac episode, just make it some sloppy decisions. There's no real negative to blowing up your donation machine one too many times. Like, we're at 900 cents. Who cares, right? But I was like, we'll just keep buying battery chargers endlessly. Oh, from what battery store? I didn't know you lived next to the Duracell Depot. Anyway. We're headed down. We're on pace. It's good. Should have taken Mom's purse. Wait, did we... Hey, hold on there. Brain. Even while you were admonishing yourself for your own stupidity, you never thought for a second, let's go back there and get Hive Mind. We got a chance to become Guppy. People screaming at you. All the drama. People suing me. I'm on TV talking like it's just you and me. Kanye West, Can't Tell Me Nothing, 2007. You might as well get Hive Mind, is what I'm trying to say. And why not use a golden bomb to crack into this? Luck up? No, that's fine. You know, a job well done is its own reward here. All right, there you go. See, we, we stopped, hopefully, our pattern of self-destruction here before it became potentially catastrophic. And did we compromise our ability to get the boss rush? Yeah, but we made our future flies that much stronger. That's worth something. Gosh darn it, that's a secret room. I guarantee it. Okay, guaranteed, though. Right here, secret room. This is what I meant, right there. Told you. All right. Next time, then. <laughs> well, let's move on here. Um, we're definitely going to peep this. Even with Curse of the Blind. Oh, it's a library, actually. Book of Revelations. Anarchist cookbook. I'll take a cube of meat. Book of Revelations also a... I always forget. It's a devil deal chance increase if you're holding it. Or maybe Anarchist cookbook is. Um, not worth holding, but uh, this gives us a good outlet to use and abuse battery charges on this floor because we know what it's going to give us. It's going to give us something in the category of books. If we're able to reroll enough, we might be able to turn it into a doubled item room, but that would probably require like sharp plug or, you know, a, a pretty fortuitous sack boy or, you know, a room with a king baby that turns all enemies into champions that drop a, a battery charge or something. It's plausible, but semi unlikely at the very least. Like this. Well, there, we could get two battery charge drops here, which would be a start. We could get one battery charge drop here. We did get one battery charge drop here. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go against library I hate that. I'm going to go against library strats just cuz I don't think there's enough charges. If it was a five room, like five books on the library, I'd be all over it. You know, you don't need too many charges to make that work. But we need two and a half charges per charge. It, it, it sounds confusing. We To be the equivalent of one charge on a five book room, we need to get two and a half charges on a two book room. Of course, so. Um, tarot cloth, lovely, lovely item. 
Saves us from blowing up our donation machine a little bit as well. Ace of Clubs, I think, is like irrelevant. But we'll turn two cents into two bombs regardless. Grab the compass. That's good, dude. Then we'll use the moon card. But don't forget, it's not just a moon card. It's actually a doubled moon card. We're going to go to our item room. And then we got a 72.5% chance repeating, of course, of making it to our deal with the devil here. Uh, at which point we will become Guppy and our hive mind decision will have paid dividends and we will go win the game. Empty vessel or no empty vessel. Great trinket, by the way. Bum friend, not a huge fan. Locust of Pestilence, though, of course, we are going to take and barely save myself from walking on the spikes. Those are the kind of plays you gotta make if you wanna win a lot in Isaac. If you wanna win a lot in Isaac, boy, it's the toughest league in the game. You gotta make sure you don't damage yourself on spikes all that often or you're gonna be in trouble mister you can only damage yourself on spikes two maybe three times per run after that you start to you start to put yourself at heavy risk of a loss all right so we know we're not getting hp here which means a good deal with the devil could put us in empty vessel state close incubus great item i think we do want one orbital Ball of bandages fits the bill completely. And we'll move along here. Again, Incubus great, but uh, I, for I totally forgot we had Libra as well. That's like, I should be more, I wouldn't say concerned necessarily, but I should be more invested in the concept of us having Libra. I'm also like trying to shoot in the same direction, because when we shoot in the same direction, it's an all stats upgrade. Isn't that weird? So we're going to try to eke something out of demon judgment here we got the hp and we got the survivability so that's going to be an all stats up from synth oil pretty nice one too and this should be an all stats up but it might be a little downgrade it's <laughs> it is uh it was not little really either it was like it was an all stats downgrade but for those of you immediately jumping to the conclusion that that was a bad idea i do want to point out it's still piercing shots you know libra can't take that away from us so it was a mild misplay, perhaps, but to get piercing shots might still be worth it. And a speed downgrade. 0 0.2 damage down. It's pretty nasty, actually. But Libra... Okay, my I almost threw up there. I didn't know that a top-down game could make me motion sick, but um, that was disorienting. Either way, I, I don't want to live on a planet where I don't take Libra almost every time it's available. And you could tell... That I believe in that message implicitly because I'm doing a Bernie Sanders finger wag at the camera right now. We all have the right to Libra. All stats should be equal. Let's... That was actually like an okay impromptu impression. I'm a little surprised. Bad dodge. Not at all worried about our HP. You know why? Nine lives. We got so many opportunities to come out of this and that's bo bookworm it's not bookworm if by the way if you're saying uh hey moron dead sea scrolls isn't a book it's a scroll i'm with you 100 percent but i had thought up to this point that it operated as a book for the purposes of the game uh, i don't think we're gonna get another reroll sadly now i was gonna say if this is small rock we got to think about it because i have no oh you jerk I have no reason uh, or no idea whether Small Rock is a stat upgrade or downgrade in our current uh, predicament. Like it's minus 0 0.2 speed plus 0 0.1 damage and minus 1 tiers, which is good. Um, so it should be an all stats increase. The all state all stats increase. Took a lot of bad damage there. I mean, it's it gives us HP. Plus, we have uh, Empty Vessel active now. We don't want that. I guess we're... You know what? What do we have in our item room? I can't recall. It's Dead Sea Scrolls, and then we rerolled it into, uh, into something else. Let's just get one more charge. Plus, maybe we can get enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. It's fairly unlikely an arcade will be useful, but... Might as well give it a try. Could be useful. And we've got a little bit of time, potentially, as well, so. 
And there's our boss rush enabler to begin with, so. Ooh, a little dicey. Okay. So I don't know if we're going to do boss rush. I don't think it's compulsory for this run to actually work, but. Ooh, Aura can be so good. Aura should always be an all stats up with Libra. Because it gives you, like, a huge magnitude of stats up, but only for one specific category. So Libra actually rebalances it and might make this a mild all stats increase, which is is fairly nice. You know what? I think... I don't know if we have the time, but I'm going for it nonetheless. And this all stats increase, thanks to Libra, is going to be an all stats increase. So... That was a joke. But it is going to be that. Um... Our aura has been removed. <laughs> I was like, why did our stats go down? That's right. Our aura has been removed. And now, this run is sheet. If you break my aura, please don't end the streak. If you kill my aura. See, that's the classic Canadian summer jam. Steal my sunshine by Len. What do you mean, Canadian? That's right, we're taking it back. You don't have my permission anymore to sing Steal My Sunshine unless you recognize the band is Canadian. Members of it later went on to form Broken Social Scene. Well, not form, but be part of, perhaps. I don't know the whole mythos, to be honest with you. Let's go! That health upgrade is worthwhile. Ooh... <laughs> Tarot cloth. It's done it. Look at that, dude. That was dicey. And we pulled it back. Mostly thanks to the greatest tarot cloth I've ever seen in my life. Plus the most opportune spirit arts one could possibly expect. Nah, you don't take that. You take this. It's a stat. I actually thought it was an all stats decrease. Thanks to the shot speed downgrade. But, by the way, why take this? Well, at this point, like... You have a great point. There's no reason to have taken that, except the hitbox on our tiers is larger. But I took it as kind of a knee-jerk reaction. So we're not going to go to uh, Boss Rush. It's literally just in that second it's gone. So luck up. It's very good. To be honest with you, the health upgrade we don't even really want to take advantage of. What did, you, what did you drop there? Nothing? That's a bummer. I, I stopped you from paying out. Um, but we would love to use it on a deal with the devil. So we really should take like a half red heart at some point in the future here. There's one back there, but I don't really want to go back for it. Um, come on. Well, if we have to pay for this deal with the devil, if we even get one... With spirit hearts, life goes on. Take, uh... I mean, we could... No, we don't want to reroll. What are you talking about? Take the Polaroid. Get down to the next floor. And just love life, dude. Like, you're in an extremely lucky position on this run. A couple of... I mean, it started a little wonky. And then it came together quickly with Empty Vessel. You're still riding that Empty Vessel train. You're waiting for Guppy. One day, you know, a change is going to come. It doesn't seem like it's going to be on this run, which is very nice for me. That was a panic reaction, and I've never been prouder. It's like exactly the right thing to do there. Um, I will say, again, like, we got a really good chance of a deal with the devil. Oh, you're still alive. You're just covered by the map. Uh, we got a really good chance for a deal with the devil, but I don't really want to pay spirit hearts for it like paying red hearts for it is the right thing but if we don't get a deal with the devil and we paid we picked up a red heart to try to get a deal with the devil that only cost us red excuse me red hearts then i lose i lose the ability to fly at least temporarily so i mean it's like a pretty minor cost all things considered but it is something that's it's on my list i'd like to at least be at a half of spirit hearts so we can take advantage of permanent polaroid invincibility And we can afford to pay Spirit Hearts. It's just more about whether or not I'd... You know, it's not perfect. But maybe we should remember the Canadian Simple Plan song of the same name. 
I'm sorry I can't be perfect. I don't, I don't remember many of the other lyrics. It was a very whiny band. So, so you've lost it all. Nothing lasts forever. I'm sorry I can't be perfect. That's all I remember. It might be all the song. Uh, so yeah, we, we paid Spirit Hearts for our deal with the devil. We got Sack Dagger, and we get to keep permanent Polaroid invincibility and empty vessels, so... Is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I got nothing against it right now, at least. Cat and Nine Tails, all stats up. Not a huge all stats up, but, you know, with Libra, you don't really get that many huge all stats upgrades, do you? It's really like soy milk. <laughs> That's it. I still think Libra is, like, maybe the worst best item in the game. Which is, like... It's, it's always worth taking, in my opinion, for comedy's sake, but I don't necessarily think it's, on average, very good. I think one of those might be a luck upgrade. Health up. Okay, I was correct. The other one's a health upgrade, which actually is very good. Um, it's just not very good right now. The right way to use this, I think, is... Uh, if we end up dying, and our like we've lost our spirit hearts, but we really, for some reason, are committed to making that particular life work, maybe because it's the last one, um, then we uh, we pop this, fill it up, and then we have two HP instead of one. But hopefully, this ends up not being necessary. Hopefully, it ends up not being relevant. But I, it's nice to have either way. I gotta give like. Extreme props to Little Brim and uh, Holy Light, which really are, are keeping this run quite, not even just like, oh, that's kind of bad. <laughs> not even just acceptable, but they're keeping this run like actually quite fun and fairly high damage. Uh, in spite of the fact that our actual attributes are decent, but not that incredible. But part of that is also my bad for not committing hard to the like Epiphora build, but... I like being able to change my rate of fire, or change the direction of fire, I should say. Um, Epiphora was really like a, hey, our starting rate of fire is 17. Let's take this as like a, a saving grace if things get like truly horrible. Um, I mean, I guess you just go with this. And we could, we could go with Dark Bomb now, and it might work out for us. I mean, we don't want the Hermit card. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Why not, dude? Why not? Still got Empty Vessel, so we're looking at, like, the permanent invincibility from that is good. I haven't given up on the Guppy Dream. And the invincibility, combined with Sack Dagger, is, like, really, really nice. We can actually... Okay, I believe in Epiphora. It took an extra couple of seconds. But I've decided that actually Epiphora Libra is amazing. Because now I have 12 damage. I've literally doubled. I may have doubled all of my stats. Actually, our rate of fire is the one that perhaps ironically got the least amount of love from Epiphora. Which is funny considering that it's also... No, it didn't give us double damage. It just gave us extra damage. Okay. Grab this. Still, seems great. Um, we can go to our curse room. I'm not gonna say it's not, you know, mildly scary. But we're still, still kicking it here. Oh, that should be a spirit heart, or at least a payout, I should say. And it is. Yeah, okay. I, I would say that that Spirit Heart puts us as close as we've ever been to unlosable territory on this run. And the Dark Bomb pickup, the thing is, like, the later you get it in the game, the less likely it's going to pay for itself. But it's still paid for itself in, like, under two minutes. So, <laughs> you ever find yourself thinking poorly of this item, you should turn the, uh, the lens of criticism inwards. Because Dark Bomb... 
If it if you get hit by a spider from Dark Bum, that's on you. That's not Dark Bum's problem. Dark Bum is innocent in all cases. All right. Isaac is going down. Dude, we've had like a selection of very very quick runs today. And it's not really like I've been uh just trying to steamroll them to keep production up as fast as possible. Like we've uh we've done boss rush on some of them. We've backtracked to try to make a maximum or maximal use of our rerolls. Like it's just been a blessed day of almost exclusively high octane Isaac runs. It's a good day to be me and be recording Isaac. Okay, straight up, absolutely rest get rerolled. Contagion's lovely. So it's a damage downgrade and it's a percentage damage downgrade. That should be bookworm. This does nothing for us, really. I think it's an all stats down. No, it was a huge all stats up. Shows what I know. Anyway, we're looking for rerolls there. Uh, host hat. Host, host man hat and his black and white cat. I'm all in. Any other Commonwealth countries get postman pat when you were a kid? We'll talk about that in a future episode. No, we won't. There's nothing to talk about. There was a television program called Postman Pat. The song of the introduction went Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. I'm just waiting for that to be sampled into, like, a millennial targeted hip-hop jam. You could call it, like, Postman Trap or something like that. And so that's a hip-hop word. Probably. I don't know. What do I know? On the inside, I'm hip-hop. But on the outside, pure indie rock. Ooh, did you see the La Savvy Faye concert last... It's La Savvy Fav. Let's go. Anyway, this is yet another easy win. We're... Fairly quickly approaching a double-digit swell. We're like halfway to a double-digit streak. My favorite uh, Public Enemy album. Once we get there... I mean, we've we've proven ourselves. There's something, you know, sports and Isaac have a lot of correlation. He said with a straight face and definitely not laughing at all because it's not funny. Um... Teams usually have to pay their dues before they go on their dynasty winning championships, right? Happened to the Oilers and the Leafs this year. You know they're going to pop off a Stanley Cup in the next 10 years. One of those two teams probably. Maybe both. Um, happened to the Penguins. Lose to the Red Wings. Now they're going for their, you know, third cup in, uh, in 10 years this year. Maybe we had to get that nasty streak out of the way in the negative direction before we could get a beauty streak in the positive direction so that's the narrative i'm choosing to build right now and it's building steam with a grain of salt for now thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode if you did click the like button i'll a great deal and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you next time